Do you want me to start from the beginning? <laughs> okay. Well, first, it was my mother. She was diagnosed, she fell and had broke her arm and a bunch of stuff and they found out she had cancer and it was stage four. So they had to go in and do some repairs and stuff and then when she had to go in and have the mastectomy and her, in, her port put in, first she had another surgeon come in and my dad and I were like, uh-uh, not friendly enough. So they, when I called the office to talk to the people, they said, well, we have this other doctor here. I'm sure you'll like him. And that was Eddie Jordan. I've known Kathy outside of the clinic um, when she was first diagnosed, and I didn't know Dr. Jordan. And I heard so many great things from her on her side of it, just how amazing her surgeon was. And, um, you know, and I didn't know that it was Dr. Jordan. And so coming years later, being like, oh, I totally know what she meant. Like, he really is super great. We took care of Kathy's mother when I got here 20 years ago, and then Kathy, and then I think we've taken care of Kathy's daughter. And yeah, for a lot of years, it ended up being just a kind of tradition. They would bring like this homemade salsa and whatnot, and yeah, that's, that's become sort of a family affair. My mom was so afraid, and she was in stage. So once we got in there and he started talking to her, and She'd bring him treats every time when she'd come in, and he really likes his treats. And he just, he treated her, he treated her like, like it was his own, right? And he would tell her, um, she'd, he'd say, now don't think about this, let's think about somewhere where we could go. And she goes, well, where are you going to take me? And he's like, how about we go to Hawaii and, and be a, and we'll live in a bungalow on the beach. And she's like, okay, and he's like, so when are you taking me? She goes, no, you have to pay for it. I can't afford it. For a long time, Kathy, when she would come back for her yearly visit, and again, when a lot of these folks come back for their yearly visit, it's, it's a visit more than anything else. I guess the medical stuff at that point, it's important, but it's almost a prelude and an epilogue. The, the meat of the matter is, is actually the visit. And, and here's how looking forward to having a patient come in to visit. Her father or mother for a lot of years had this stash, this cachet of, of salsas that they would make. And it was a limited amount. It was like limited dish and stuff. And I guess I'm not a big canner, but I guess you can can this stuff and it'll live for years and years and years or bottle it. Maybe that's the expression. But if you make a batch of salsa, you can have it for, for years and years and years. And apparently, they had had this batch and it was slowly starting to become less and less and less as the years went by. And, and I do remember the year that she came with the last bottle and we can all buy salsa wherever, but that last bottle and she, and I think she'd even given me a heads up that this was going to be the last year, the last bottle. And even though she still comes, that particular year was, was momentous because it was going to be the last bottle of salsa. And a lot of people would say salsa, 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 but this really was over the top prolif prolific salsa. And I remember that particular visit, that was a cool visit. We see her every year for breast cancer follow-ups and she always comes in with a smile. She's always happy. She always has something to bring Dr. Jordan. Um, and she just overall has always been really friendly. She's really strong. She comes in and even if the news was bad or the news was good, she always was positive and happy and just makes the office lighten up when she comes into the room. So it's really great to see her every time she comes in for a follow-up. Regular checkups every year with Dr. Jordan. I could do it with somebody else, but from the beginning, he's like, I'll take care of you. I'm like, that's great. I'll see you every year because we just love him. Yeah, I think that once, once we see some of these patients back for their yearly routine visits, it's, it's not the end of a chapter, it's usually the beginning of a new one. We know that certain people are going to be coming back at the same time every year, and when we finish up a visit for someone and we say goodbye, it's not really goodbye, it's, you know, we'll see you next year at pretty much the same time, and it's something to actually look forward to. We just love him. Like I said, he sees you anywhere. My dad was in the hospital at one time, this was a few years back. Um, he had a sort of an irregular heart rhythm. They were just checking him out. He was in the in the other room, and he came running down the hall to see my dad, to make sure he was okay and see. So that's just him. Point is, is that if 
You can do something that's invigorating and empowering for another person, and it's not that big of a deal. Just do it. It's good, but more importantly, it creates good habit.